Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes and we're here to play Darkwing Duck for the NES system. Classic good game. Of course I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't play this as a kid. This game was a real fun game. Um, the graphics were really awesome. For back then they were pretty damn awesome. And um, the graphics kind of remind me of... Uh, so you did a good job there. Uh, the graphics kind of kind of remind me of Mega Man. I mean, the the mechanics of the game kind of remind me of Mega Man. How you would shoot these little balls and uh, just how you would jump and stuff. Like kind of, you would jump kind of halfway in the air and kind of kind of similar to Mega Man, except Mega Man wouldn't j uh, duck or anything. You'll see what I'm talking about. That's a very good story. Very uh, comical, fun story, just like the cartoon series that came out and. Uh, you could pick three locations where you could start at. Two in the inner city and one in the bridge. Picking the bridge right now. I'm very excited to play this game because I love it so much. This is the upload I wanted to do originally. You see, it's kind of very similar to Mega Man actually. You know, the mechanics are very similar. You can tell. The way he jumps, the sound, the bullets. How he kind of like creeps and sneaks and kind of walks forward kind of like slowly like Mega Man would except he has more of like a his own swag to it you know a little one up I love how they do the the one ups as little dolls of Darkwing Duck I always thought that was very cool as a kid One thing I always I always loved was the Mega um, I mean I'm sorry the Darkwing Duck toys they were really really good like did you see that one yellow duck that he shot at in the bottom of this level right here those little characters uh, those typical kind of henchmen those those uh, um, henchmen that would appear a lot um, those ones were actually very well I remember them I remember that they're very well made toys and Darkwing Duck was also very cool too. I like the way how the level is set in the nighttime, not daytime. I think that's very cool. Right here too. He blocks and then attacks. Blocks and counters. That's a very cool element that a lot of games didn't have back then. The shielding. But I like how they did it at night because it gives it kind of like a cooler, more, um, better uh, look to the level. And a different energy to the level. The music was really good too. There we are. I forgot this character's name. He's like a jokester or something like that. But he was a, a fun character, a very popular character back then. They used him a lot in the series. And this is actually this is this fight sequence is actually very ingeniously constructed. Cause like once you he he bounces when you hit him and then he jumps up above you and he shoots and then he avoids you keeps on bouncing up and down up and down on these girders but that guy up there that banana guy he keeps on throwing bananas at you so it's kind of like it's a very unique fighting uh, situation so it's actually very ingeniously constructed this fight sequence
As I do, as many of you may not know, I'm uh, usually I uh, drink a little bit. I drink some uh, some sparkling wine while I do this commentation uh, and uh, um, narration, whatever it is. A little bit buzzed right now, can't remember. <clears throat> and uh, I'm playing the game at the same time. In between the levels, I drink a little bit. So I'm feeling pretty good. That ball is just a, is, I see that in so many NES games. That ball rolling on spikes. One thing that, uh, oh god. One thing that I'm uh, kind of disappointed is that they never pushed Darkwing Duck as far as they could by uh, making it a movie. I think that the writers, you could tell from the, the, the cartoon series that the writers were very, very, very good at what they did. And they could have came up with a good, uh, good plot and story for um, the movie. They could have came up something really good. Even though, um, as the series lagged on and lagged on, it, the stories got kind of weak, a little bit, kind of silly. But I think that if they got an opportunity, if, if the studio, if the studio told them, hey. Make a script for a movie. We think about making a movie. Make a good, make a good plot. Make a good script, a screenplay. And they'll be like, oh hell yeah! Their energy would just both boost back right up. They'll be just regenerized. They would have came up with something really good, you know. They would have regenerized and would have gotten right back on there and typed something really fun and really good for a good movie. I like that little ball. It's just a typical henchman in a little ball suit. And actually, Darkwing Duck had a lot of. Um, it was actually kind of cutting edge a little bit because Darkwing, Darkwing Duck, the cartoon series, didn't follow a rigid type of cliche type of uh, storyline. Um, it, it, Darkwing Duck was aware of itself. The cartoon series was aware of itself. It knew that it was a, a hero, you know, kind of um, old classic, kind of like, you know, it's been done before. I'm a hero. I'm a dark Darkwing Duck hero. And there's villains. You know, it's kind of like similar to Tick. The cartoon series Tick. They're both aware of themselves and they both make fun of themselves. And Darkwing Duck did the same way in its own unique kind of, uh, so children kind of picked up on it, but adults picked up on it too. They had little punch lines that would um, hit themselves and at the same time hit the villains and the villains would attack with punch lines toward Dr. Duck. And likewise, a punch line toward the whole series itself, which made it fun. So this guy, um, I don't remember this guy. I think I remember this guy, but I can't remember him. But either way, this is a very ingeniously uh, well designed fight sequence too. Take a little sip of my sparkling wine. The liquidator. <laughs> see, see, they use the liquidator like. Lumber liquidators. I remember that commercial. A commercial of lumber liquidators talking about logs and uh, wood and wood floors, liquidators, you know. I guess making things cheap. But the liquidator is actually a very cool character in this world of Darkwing Duck, the universe of Darkwing Duck. There's that guy again. Blast him. Block, counter, blast. Block, counter. Block, counter. Gold bars worth 500 points. I think they'd be worth more than that. This is also a very cool level too. So 
Fantastic. Those guys, those typical henchmen guys. The toys were really, really well made. There's my little doll. Oh, I got two of them. Life and a one up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Feeling good. 